I'm meteorologist Grant Skinner with the News 5 First Alert Storm Team here with a tropical update on this Sunday afternoon, August 4th. As of the 4 p.m. advisory from the National Hurricane Center, Debbie has 65 mile per hour winds. It's moving to the north at 12 miles per hour, and the pressure is at 992 millibars. It is strengthening and will likely become a hurricane before making landfall along Florida's Big Bend. You'll notice heavy bands of showers and storms already pushing over many portions of the Florida Peninsula. Tornado warnings, flash flood warnings, a tornado watch. There's many hazards with this tropical system, and we'll continue to see that flooding be a big concern over much of the southeast in the next few days. And I'll show you some more details on who will see the most rainfall in a second. But for the News 5 viewing area, no direct impacts. These impacts will be indirect. We'll have wind gusts up to 30 miles per hour for parts of northwest Florida for Monday, and then a moderate risk for rip currents into Monday and Tuesday. So be very careful to local beaches right now just seeing some isolated showers and storms. Here's that latest track from for Tropical Storm Debbie. You'll notice it making landfall on Monday. It likely has a Category 1 hurricane. And then pushing inland, pushing to the northeast, then east, then back to the north. A lot more uncertainty once this makes landfall because there's going to be a lack of steering overall. That's going to allow for a lot of heavy rainfall to sit over many parts of Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, bringing a major flooding threat for those areas. Current tropical alerts in place. You have hurricane warnings in place already for parts of the Big Bend and even parts of South Georgia. Any tropical storm warnings already in place. Areas like Tampa, Sarasota already seeing those tropical storm conditions, and those will spread inland after this makes landfall. Flooding threat is going to be a big concern, a major, major flooding threat for parts of the Big Bend, even areas as far south as Tampa as a lot of heavy rainfall falls over there, those areas. And as far north as Jacksonville through Savannah and Charleston, where they're expecting extreme flooding with a lot of rainfall sitting over those areas. You notice some of these totals as high as 10 to 15 inches for areas along the Big Bend and areas inland into southeastern parts of Georgia, but then 15 to possibly as high as 20 inches for areas like Savannah and Charleston, where that more extreme flooding is expected. Even areas to the north are expecting a lot of heavy rainfall over the next several days. Storm surge, expecting as high as nine feet along parts of the Big Bend. As you drop down further south, that towards Tampa and Sarasota, it's up to six feet, but still they're gonna have a lot of heavy rainfall. So flooding is still going to be a big concern. Even areas off to the west will see some storm surge and areas along Georgia and South Carolina, up to six feet of storm surge. There's also a tornado threat. We've already seen a tornado watch, tornado warnings ongoing. Many, several tornadoes are possible over the next couple of days as the system makes its way inland. So be very mindful of that. Have multiple ways to receive warnings, especially if you're in those areas. And of course, that wind threat increasing, especially those hurricane force winds over parts of the Big Bend, but many areas along the southeast, including parts of southeastern Alabama, much of, the, much of Florida in general, uh, South uh, Georgia, and then many parts of South Carolina will see tropical storm winds. We also are watching one other area in the Atlantic. Right now, a very low chance of development it's in the central Atlantic right now, east of the Windward Islands. We'll like they see some slow development with this system, but right now it does not pose a threat to the News 5 viewing area. This is a system that we're going to keep close watch of over the next several days. But here are the key takeaways with Tropical Storm Debbie. It is getting stronger. It could become a hurricane before making landfall. It likely will. A major flooding threat for many parts of Florida and the Atlantic coastline as well, up to Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina. Local impacts here for our stretch of the Gulf Coast, the News 5 viewing area, rip current threat will be increased, and we'll have the gust of the 30 miles per hour in Northwest Florida. So be mindful of that over the next couple of days. If you're in the path of this system, again, make sure to have multiple ways to receive warnings. You have many impacts, including flooding, a tornado threat's already ongoing, and those will only spread inland over the next few days.